Hello from ChemHelp ASAP. Hepatic clearance is highly relevant to almost all oral drugs. During hepatic clearance, blood, which contains a drug, passes through the liver. Liver enzymes are then able to act upon the drug and break it down, metabolize it. The drug concentration in the blood, more specifically, the plasma, will be lower as the drug exits the liver. So CP out will be less than CP in. Some of the drug has been cleared. Note that the drug has not been obliterated. The atoms found in the drug are still present and found in metabolites. This is changed drug. Drug concentration go down, goes down, but plasma concentration of the metabolite has gone up. Part of the drug discovery process is to understand the fate of a drug in the body, and understanding the, acti the activity of metabolites is part of a drug's fate. The key actors in liver metabolism are metabolic enzymes. The liver contains many different enzymes, but the superstar enzymes are the cytochrome P450 enzymes, sometimes called SIPs or CYPs. These are enzymes. They have active sites and binding pockets. To be metabolized, a drug needs to fit in the binding pocket. Small molecule oral drugs are perfectly sized substrates for most of these enzymes. For that reason, the CYPs in the liver are able to act upon most drugs. Note that some of the liver enzymes are likely intended to protect the body from ingested poisons. This idea can help us understand the first pass effect. If a person eats something toxic, the liver gets an initial chance to destroy the poisons so that the exposure to the toxin is minimized. The liver sees drugs as foreign substances and therefore tries to metabolize them to protect the body. What kind of metabolic reactions are performed in the liver? The CYPs mostly perform oxidations. Other enzymes perform reductions and hydrolysis reactions. These three types of reactions are placed in one category called phase one reactions. Phase two reactions are performed by separate enzymes. Phase two reactions are conjugations and involve adding groups to a drug or a metabolite to increase its renal filtration. Phase one and phase two reactions are covered in more detail in other videos. Overall, the metabolic process often starts with a drug undergoing phase one reactions to form a metabolite. The metabolite is then conjugated in a phase two reaction to form yet another metabolite. The conjugated metabolite is then excreted or cleared by the kidneys in renal filtration. Every drug is different with regard to its metabolic fate, but this pathway is typical. I hope this video helped to clarify some of the ideas of hepatic clearance. Please leave any questions in the comments section. Take care.